big. My nuts are good. <laughs> These are good. Oh man. Dangerous, but good. I will spit your nuts out. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Taking it easy today. Don't really have anything planned. Neither one of us do. I've got a long list of things that I've got to get done. I've got to plan out some things and some... i got to really dive deep into how I can uh, grow the show and kind of take things to, to a new level. Um, that's the biggest thing on my to-do list for today. And I think for the rest afterwards, I think we're just going to veg out. We're going to sit down. We're probably just going to um, take a break from everything. Uh, watch. Are you making my nuts great again? I'm making your nuts great again, babe. Oh man, are these gonna be good as the as good as the ones we had the other day? I'm hoping these are better. Oh. So then we can just make our own all the time. Okay, so you know how you said you were cold the other day or cold earlier? Yeah. Well, guess what? Hole in your butt. I I made dinner. Oh, I made really hot. <laughs> I I made chili. It is that okay? That is great. I've been waiting for your chili all year long. Okay. Yes, I made dinner and it's gonna be fantastic. How's them nuts coming? I got your nuts on parchment paper. Is it, how important is it to put it on parchment paper? Well, they didn't stress it like that one website for the cheese crisps kept stressing. They just said put it on parchment paper. Yeah, the other one, the, they, how many times did they put it in bold that you're supposed to use parchment paper? They, like it's like half times. the post was about was about doing bold. Well, I'm assuming this one you have to put on parchment paper because the nuts are sticky. The the nut they're sticky. Yeah. See, they're sticky. <laughs> the nuts. So you've made my nuts sticky? What did you think of the movie? You can't tell by my face? I can tell by your face. Okay, that was a great movie. It, it was really By far good. one of the best ones I think we've seen in a while. It was a really good one, but I think just everything that's happened the last few weeks just all came to a head at that moment. Yeah. So. Just... It's called Do You Believe? Great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Highly recommend it. And a box of tissues. You might need a box of tissues. <laughs> um, but we're talking about butterscotch cream soda. Oh yeah, butterscotch cream. <laughs> butterscotch, butterscotch cream soda. This one doesn't come with instructions on how to invert. We already checked it. It doesn't come with instructions on how to invert. But we have been excited to check this one out. I wanted to check it out last week. We. We were, and from what we've heard, we are likely to really, really enjoy this one. And that we'll probably wind up having to go back to Casey Soda Company and pick up some more. So, let's see. That's not bad. That's good. You know, we'll probably have to buy Daniel some for Christmas. Just because he's a Harry Potter fan, and this reminds me of Harry Potter. Plus, they have the butter beer that they talk about, which is not actually beer, but it's probably like this. Probably. I pinned a recipe or two, I just haven't made it. It's 
pretty good. It's got kind of a different... It's not fizzy. No, but it's got a, a weird uh, artificial type sweetener taste. Um, also, we're going to try some of our nuts that I made. That you made earlier. It's a crock pot recipe. Oh, man. Cinnamon glazed. Big. My nuts are good. <laughs> These are good. Oh, man. Dangerous, but good. I will spit your nuts out. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a bad thing. Is well, because of what you said. I just put one in my mouth and you said that. My nuts are in your mouth? But you almost spit them out? Maybe we should refer these to our nuts and not yours. But you made them for me. We've heard about so they're my nuts. Did. But they're my nuts. So they're my nuts, right? If you made them for me, that would make them my nuts. Well, I made them because you had the, gotten the ones at Lewisburg Cider Mill. And I suggested maybe we could make some at home. Okay, so let's check out this Flying Cauldron butterscotch stuff. Since 1374, Flying Cauldron has been making this magical brew for under-aged wizards or wizards who are young at heart at their brew pub in Hog's Breath, England. So it's from England? Ooh, it says this recipe's changed little over the centuries. It's a perfect combination of spells and quality natural. You know who would really like this? Becky. <gasps> Becky would like that. We've got a friend in St. Louis. She's actually, by St. Louis. Yeah, she, she actually lives right on the outskirts of Ferguson, Missouri. And when we went there... She's awesome. Yes. And if you guys haven't... If you guys don't know anything about Becky... Um, she's a witch. She's a good witch. Like, not not like Hillary Clinton witch, but she's a... Did you see that stuff that Hillary Clinton's, like, inside her campaign people were, mm -mm. like, practicing Wicca stuff? That's the whole uh, trending Wiccan. thing. I think it's Wiccan. Yeah, Wiccan. I've anyway. often thought about getting a hold of Becky, and if anyone makes me mad, seeing if she has a spell. Yeah. But that's probably not the right thing to do. So, look her up on, um, look her up on She's the Twitters, at Patriot Witch. She is hilarious and down-to-earth, really, really nice lady. Uh, we should, we need to tell her about this stuff. Anyway. Maybe we should send them just some to her, because I don't know if there's a place that sells it close by her. Probably not. We should figure out a way to ship some to her. It says, add a scoop of vanilla ice cream to create your giggle potion. Giggle potion? That's what it says, see? We have our giggle potion right here. My nuts. <laughs> that I made in the crock pot too. The cinnamon. It does. See, I told you it had a weird aftertaste because of some goofy sweeteners. It's got stevia in it. It says 100% natural. It's got stevia. Steep. You can't talk today. Is it stevia? I think it's stevia. If I'm wrong, then, but I think it's stevia. Whatever. It's got great flavor. Got a weird aftertaste. Probably. It's GMO free. Anyway, it's got a weird aftertaste to me. It. Cat hair. Got a cat hair. Awesome. Yeah. When I. She tore a whole thing off the back. Anyway. Again, got a weird aftertaste to it, but the overall flavor is really, really good. This would make a good float, in my opinion. That is a good idea. We're going to tell you what, let's pick up another bottle or two next time we go, and we'll make floats. Can we just get a whole six pack? Of this? Mm hmm You like it that much? Well, if we make our giggle potion, it might be even better. These nuts are pretty good. I'm glad you like it. I just can't believe you almost spit my nuts out. <laughs> I hope none of our friends get offended when we talk like that. <laughs> They're pecans! Speechless, aren't you? You always make me speechless. So, 
honestly, what did you think about the movie? I thought it was really good. Towards the end, I was on the edge of my seat, if you didn't notice me cut, mm -hmm. shifting again and again. I did. Some of it was trying to not look at you, because it was already... <laughs> I thought they did a good part. They did a good job of keeping you interested in the story. Of each character? Of each character, and how they... They kind of cross paths. Yeah, they each each person of the mo in the movie basically cross pa crosses paths multiple times, and it all comes together at the end. At the end, they did a great job, in my opinion. It was kind of towards the end of what was probably the last 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Yeah. You're kind of on the edge of your seat because something happens to make them all come together. But it's like a, the climax of the movie, and I couldn't sit still. I kept, like, I, fi I don't know if I thought maybe if I moved all the time that it would hurry the movie along and everyone Did would... you hurry up and get past that part? Yeah, because I knew I was going to cry. No. I thought you were having allergies. Anyway. That's what Daniel called it. I'm glad we picked that movie. You picked it. I didn't feel like watching an Alfred Hitchcock. I was interested in watching a Hitchcock film, but I'm really glad we picked it. I wouldn't have cried at an Alfred Hitchcock, but... We might have laughed again. Yeah. Anyway. I got a lot of thinking done today. I know that might be boring to some people, but I got a lot of thinking done about the direction of the show and some things that I'm hoping to do in the very, very near future. Uh, it might, it probably won't start early this week, but I'm going to have to go out and get some stuff. Uh, my, here's, so here's my idea, and it's new to you as well. Yeah, see, I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, it's, it's in here, and sometimes it's hard to get stuff out. So, um, here's my thinking. I spend time in the car just like everybody else and I think a lot of that time gets wasted so here's my thinking that I, I take I take them with us or I take them with me uh, every day and talk about things like current events uh, something a, a news story maybe uh, I could talk about history stuff. I mean, there's a wide variety of things that I could talk about, but I think there's a, I, I think that that's something the show is missing, is some of those things, is, is really opening up, this is going to sound really weird, but opening up my mind and sharing those things that I think about all the time and really sharing it with them. If I did that, everything would be so random. I would I get, go from, like, here to, like, all the way here and maybe somewhere in between and then maybe back to here. Yeah, but I don't want it to last very long. I don't even... I don't want to go any longer than, like, ten minutes. So what do you need? Well, I'm going to have to get... I'm going to have to figure out a way to mount a camera in the car. <clears throat> And that's really the main thing, is figuring out how to mount a camera inside the car. So, so maybe on date night we can go look at something? Or do we need to be home because that's the election night? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm worried about it, but I'm not worried about it on date night. Date night's for us. I know, but I'm worried about who's going to be running the country next. You know who's really in charge, though? Heavenly Father. Yeah. God's really in charge, and that's the that's something I've been giving a lot of thought to, is after the election, on, on Wednesday, when hopefully by Wednesday we have 
we have it figured out. There's a possibility it may not. Oh, who knows? Because if you know what's going to happen, if Hillary wins, Trump is well, he's going to a recount. He's going to push for something just because the system is rigged. But in the end, God is still in charge. So, going back, see, so you, now you're making me go random. Going back to what I was talking about, that's something that I think I can talk, that I can talk about is um, tying things together in the car. I mean, you... I, We have some really good conversations that they don't ever get to see. And I think that by always having a camera with me to share those those thoughts and those things that I'm thinking about or and, and stuff like that. I think I think they'll like it, but I think mostly I'll benefit from it cuz then I won't feel so scatterbrained and compressed in the head. Because I do. I go from all over the place. It's like organized chaos. That's how I feel lately. Excellent job on my nuts, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we need to wrap this up and say bye. Have a good night. Have Thanks a good for night. for coming and hanging out with us. Who's hanging out? Not <laughs> no. I set that up for you too, and you went. You took it. I know you too well. Mm-hmm. Even in there. <laughs> it's a little oh, scary sometimes. It is kind of creepy. Anyway, love you guys. You guys are more than friends. You guys are family. So glad that you guys could sit around, sit at, sit at the table with us, and talk yeah. about some these, some of these things, and indulge in our nuts while we sip on butterscotch. butterscotch cream soda. It didn't say cream soda. It does, right there. Butterscotch cream soda. Oh. It says butterscotch beer, but it's non-alcoholic. It's butterscotch cream soda. See, last week you didn't see the invert bottle. This week I didn't see that it said cream soda. I was paying attention this week. I didn't want to have to <laughs> figure out how to turn, how to open it upside down. And get it all over the table. I didn't get any on the table this time. Anyway, you guys are more than friends. You guys are family. We love you guys. So glad that you spent some time with us. You got any parting words? <clears throat> Thanks for coming and hanging out with us and talking about our nuts. Our nuts are good. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you guys and God bless. <laughs>